Hey everyone, Rod the Tool Guy here at Aries Tool. You're going to have to forgive us a little bit. We're under a stay at home as everybody else, so we're out of the studio. So lighting and uh, sound may get a little funny here, but we're going to give it a good shot here. Today uh, we're talking about the 15027 Cooling System Refill Kit. It's a great way to vacuum down a system and check it for leaks and do a quick refill. And help. And it's a super way of getting all the air out of the system and very quickly refilling it. So we're going to get it unboxed here and uh, show you how to set it up and how to use it, what to look for. And I think you're going to find it a very efficient, uh, practical tool to use. So when you open up the box, this is your uh, vacuum head. You've got your uh, fill line, your suction in here that goes into the radiator or surge tank, your valve that controls your air supply. You have to put your own fitting on. Make sure you put uh, Teflon tape or something in there, a good seal. Always make sure this is good and snug in case it comes loose during shipping. Um, then you have your valve back here that uh, controls from your uh, fill bottle or a container or whatever you're using. Now you see I've got it all in a bucket here and I've got the bucket up high. That's kind of important to get that bucket up as high as you can when you do this. It really helps you out. Um, sometimes uh, you have to wait the end of the hose to keep it down inside the bucket. It wants to do its own thing. So uh, the other thing is on these surge tanks and such, uh, sometimes you've got to pinch off the extra hose that's on them not an uncommon situation on some of uh, the vehicles out there so we have a set of pinch clamps the 71 160 it's a set of three that'll really help you out or anything you can use to pinch that off so you pick your appropriate adapter cone that comes with the set and uh, hook up your air and then you uh, fit it into your jug and uh, turn on your air. So now that you've got the air turned on, you can purge that line, shut it off before it gets you a shower here. So your line is full. As you can see, it's pulling down vacuum. And we'll give you a close up of this in a second so you can see how it's doing this. And you know, once you get into the uh, minus 22 or so, uh, to 25, that's a good range. Um, sometimes it, it, you're not getting there, you can have a leak, and that's why we mean we can leak, leak check. And we're getting down there, we're just, uh, we're hitting 22 now. We're headed to 25. You'll never get all the way to 30, that's a perfect vacuum. It, it doesn't happen. So, this, I'm going to go ahead and shut it off now. We're at 24, and I can watch that needle. And if that needle stays there, I know my system's sealed. And which it is, perfect. So now I can open up my supply line, the valve on the back here. And now it's refilling the system, and your needle is coming up. So I'm going to stop it here. And uh, we're going to get in here on this thing close so you can see the actual what's going on. Okay, so I stopped it, and as you can see, the vacuum dropped from where it was. So I'm going to turn it on so you can see the, it pull vacuum. So I shut my air off, I watch to make sure that the needle doesn't uh, significantly move, and it's not. So now I can open up the valve in the back here that's to my uh, coolant supply line and refill the system. And as it goes down to zero, uh, it's refilling the system. And you'll notice on your upper hose that it'll have sucked it so it's collapsed. Um, that kind of lets you know you've got the whole system under a vacuum. And in a matter of no time, you start filling up the system. And like I say, once you hit zero, you're good. And then you can cap up your system. 
sometimes you'll hit zero and it's not all the way uh, full or you got to make sure that doesn't happen because the uh, oh well that's how quick it happened we're already uh, filled the system up and I can see down here that my lines about there uh, so occasionally like I, I didn't have enough in there <laughs> you always want to make sure you have enough in there and so uh, you can physically top it up cap it up and run it make sure it burps all the air out of it sometimes what happens uh, when you're filling these systems that uh, it, it goes to zero and you, it doesn't seem like you're all the way full it's still pulling it in and you can lift up on it and you can see that the coolant will still be running out of here and you can finish up topping it off that way and then what some of us will do with the uh, radiator style is then we'll cut it and then we'll go over to the expansion bottle and fill it it's a very easy convenient way to do that so as you can see it's fast and uh, very efficient so um, it's a really great tool I think uh, you'll love using it we use it all the time I mean there's not a, a, a week that goes by that it hasn't been used several times so there you go Thank so there you have it the 15027 cooling system refill kit a fast efficient way of filling your cooling system so uh, make sure you register your tool always wear uh, proper safety gear and uh, we appreciate you watching and especially these days be safe out there we'll see you next time